Troy Massey here from Gold Coast Prints. Today we're going to be saving our file as a WebP file. So we've got our image open here in Photoshop. We're going to go up to File, Save a Copy, and then click Save on Computer. And then in our Save As Type drop down box, we're going to click that once and then go right down the bottom to our WebP. Enter our file name. I'm happy with that. Hit Save. So for these options, um, most of the time for WebP, you're going to be using it for web applications. This definitely isn't a file you really want to use for photo printing purposes. It's just for web design and online, um, really small, compact files that still are going to look quite nice. Um, I'll save it around sort of 50 50%. As most of the time, the sizes that um, this is going to be saved at are going to be for mobile viewing and tablet viewing. Um, and even on computer, they're still going to look reasonably good at uh, these settings. So enter in all these settings that you see here. Hit OK. That's your WebP file ready for use online. Thanks for watching this tutorial today, guys. See you for the next one.